So, great. Well, good. I'm glad it is. <laughs> uh, we have the uh, applications, applicants represented here. We'll have them explain um, what they're doing, going to do, hope to do. And we'll, go, we'll start off with uh, 22018, which is Patrick Henry Hendy and the Hatch Block. All right. Uh, you want to come up, Pat? Sure. It's easier to, for the video, that's all. All right. Either chair, either chair, whichever one you want. Chair or whatever. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Share this out. Okay. So my proposal proposals for deck for seating outside. Uh and it'll be access, there'll be access through an existing uh window on the right. Well, it's gonna be a door, but the deck is on the east side of the building. On the east side of the building. And there's there's uh well, you see them two doors. Yeah, um, there's a window. Well, there are actually windows one, and there's another window. There's a bunch of windows in there boarded up. So I'm going to use the same openings, and uh, I'll start with the one uh, one door on the right, and that goes into that little office area, a little next to the. I don't know if you've been in there recently, but there's a small room. Uh, this will be off the north end of the bar. Uh, it'll be off yes. the east end. Yeah, but this is on the east. Yeah, north end of the bar. Right. Yeah, so I have access to the deck. The access to the outside is only for emergency exit or handicap access. Right there. Right, right there. The there. Yeah, the little okay. gate. And uh, so, and uh, the other door will be for servicing the deck. And that's what's the width of that deck? That's 14 by 36. And it may not be the scale. Okay. Now, what's that impact does that have on your parking? Uh, I've already moved the parking around. You think of the drive. So basically, it's taken the place of the drive that used to be down there. And I used to drive and park here. But I filled and and uh, made. Have, have you been over? No. Okay. Someone's been over. Uh, I have quite a bit. Yeah. So if you look at, so if you look at it right there, so I've got this. Uh, display that so it's the that is there now the parking and and there's a uh, room uh, for the deck and it still leaves 19 feet on the on the shorts on the upper uh, or the back side at least nine feet uh, you know it's at least 19 feet we right haven't there. lost any parking no i actually uh i think you're gonna gain some yeah yeah. And uh, they're parking deeper, but you know. Is, is there any room underneath this deck to park? Or is it not no? Much space? I, I, I wouldn't do that. I don't think. You're going to be serving food out there. We don't need. Is that going to have a canvas or some kind of on it? Uh, I haven't applied for that right now. I talk, we talked about it, and I think we'll just have to mention that we could. If it was, of course, we'd have to have that in now or ask or for, do it again. Yeah. 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 Right now, I think it's going to be open and she just wants a maybe an umbrella on the tables. On the, the, table. the deck just made a pressure treated material. Yes. And uh, concrete piers and uh, uh, <clears throat> the railing, I'll probably fool with the railing. Uh, we talked about the cables, but then I we were on a trip and I saw uh, the EMT, the galvanized conduit, that makes a nice rail actually. So I'm just looking at that. And, but at my my thought originally, I want, I'd like the rod iron, but Kristen didn't care for that. Like a cemetery. So. We're gonna have to get the executive committee together to determine this. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. And, and uh, you know, uh, and there's uh, 10 piers, so I'm gonna have, so I'll carry it. Easily. Will this be painted? Um, Stay. It can be whatever, but right, pressure treated, you gotta let it sit anyways. Right. So for right now, it's pressure treated, 
standing as is for at least a year. Yeah, right. and uh, and uh, the railings may be not, they probably won't be, the poles probably won't be pressure treated. I thought about, had a couple of thoughts. I was thinking it was uh, just a four by four steel, hollow uh, steel, you know, nice rounded one point and then just saw it open to thoughts here. But uh, <clears throat> I yes. guess it's what you, you know, whatever you guys approve. And the other part is here too, Pat, where you're covering the utilities on the end of that, you know. So on the yeah, yeah. north end of the porch right here in this box, currently, if you, if you look at the yeah, rotate gun, there's uh, meters there. Is the uh, boxed in? Well, open, but you can you can access them and you can look, see them. You can sort or, of see them here. With yeah, this and, they'll, and they'll hide that. For the middle. I could, I thought I had a deal going with Green Mountain Power, but they decided to hold off or whatever. Hey, hey, Chris. Yes. If you uh, set me as a co-host, I have some photos I took today. I was looking at it. If we want to see those in terms of the side of the building, a better picture. Um, okay. I mean, stop my share or are you good? Um, let me let me set up. You can keep going, and then I'll just I'll export a couple, and then we can I'll just share Are you them. Changing the front porch, though. Uh, no, not not with this at all. We're not even not even accessing to there. The con the slabs will probably go away, and uh, you know be sloped up, and I'll have I don't know if I'll do some stone there or something, pavers or something there, but it's. <clears throat> But um, it's only for emergency exit. Yeah, and and uh, hand because access to the deck is from the inside. And from the inside, yeah. be, I think it'd be too difficult to manage it. So it's better this way. Uh, Anybody have any through. questions? Department of Liquor also appreciate that it's only emergency exit. Yeah, yeah, and we'll probably have to. I assume we'll put some sort of alarm on it. You know. And you, you have a particular light fixture in mind for the. Oh, I like the, something kind of colonial looking or something, you know. That. Are those light fixtures and tough those poles? Yeah. Yeah. Now, <coughs> what's our requirement of lights? Are we going to be shielded down? Yeah. Shiny or, yeah. So yeah. 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 No, that's, that's, that's good. You, you can see them all, but you, you they're, it's, so it doesn't broadcast upward and outward. Right. So that and nothing fluorescent, in my opinion. Something, <laughs> something sure soft, something soft. That, yeah. yeah, I like the lights you guys had in town. But I don't care for them now. <laughs> it's kind of loud, I think. Remember, you're new in town here. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> be careful. <laughs> here, let me let, let me share that photo, Chris. Sure. It's all yours. Okay. Um, there we go. So that was uh, like, oh, there it is. Yep. I did go to school here. Um, so I have a couple couple questions. I was looking at the your line in terms of what your height's going to be. It looks like you know you're you're going to have to do something to to hide your utilities, but you're also hitting a couple oil filling areas and a, potentially a propane line. Is that correct? In the middle there's of the building, there? there's, a, there's a propane line there, okay. and there's a fuel line there. Is or fuel are access they beyond the end of your uh, your deck? What's that? Are those filler pipes beyond the end of your deck? No, but they're on the. I'll have to uh, relocate it. That tank would actually was just put there uh, as I took ownership. It used to be well, the lines actually were probably similar in location. The tank was further in. But I'll just run them lines out. You're you're going to adjust them, yeah. so not to interfere or be on your deck. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're going to have to be able to is covering these these current utility boxes, correct? Yeah. And then a question about the windows in your drawing. It looks like I don't, can you see my pointer? I can't tell. Yeah. A little okay. Little bit, yeah. So this window is in line with this, which I guess is your, your second door there. Um, yes. but, but these two don't line up with this. And in your drawing, it shows your next door. 
I don't know, are you using either one of these or are you going to do a whole new door that would be in line with the upper window? Well, if you look, uh, we have that page. I, I have to switch back over. No, that's fine. I've got a copy right here, Pat, if you need. I do too. Okay. <clears throat> Well, the, the door is going to be where the window is. Just it's, it's this. It's replacing the one with the wood with the okay with the beige wood over it, so it'll line up with this upper window. And uh, ish. Yeah, that's what and I think. That, it might you know we try to get things as as aesthetic as possible, but given that this is already an established window that's been there for a long time. I don't have an Not issue really. with the door this being here. I was just curious because in the draw in the sketch, they are aligned, but in reality, they're not. So I just wanted to be sure, but I'm okay with this door because it makes a lot of sense instead of creating another opening, which then you have to deal with these. So that's, I'm totally fine with putting it there and having it right. not line up just because it's been there and it's established. And those three little, uh, little windows above there, well, eventually I don't like them. To, Ivan had put those in, they were too small and lit. And thankfully, someone stopped him before he did too many small windows. So, you, you have uh, a plan down the road? To yeah, I don't. Those. Yeah, that apartment needs to be redone. And so, you'll be back for those two. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's, I don't like those windows at all. Them just the small ones, too small for the building. Would you understand? Well, I was. Uh, I, Pat. Pat. No. Oh, Ian. Ian yes. was saying. I, I do understand. Okay. Yeah. And if you look at the drawing, I mean, they are offset slightly. Offset mm -hmm. slightly. Yeah. And I know you're going to say that's not the scale. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> not the um, scale. <laughs> in terms of the lighting, you talked about the main street lights and that you like those, but then you don't, you don't like those now. <laughs> now listen, <laughs> okay, so he was, all right. No, well, the, the reason I ask yeah. is, is because the, the town has the old lights that were on main street, which are essentially yeah. exactly the same design. They're literally sitting over by the department of public works. A lot of They're them were re retrofitted with just screw bulbs. So you could put any type of bulb in. And if you were looking for lights and you wanted to match Main Street, potentially the town might just give you three lights and you could retrofit them. I mean, they're just metal casings. You could cut them down to the height you want and they would have the same type of fixtures if you wanted to go that direction. I'm sure the town would. Would, would be yeah. happy. you know. And the fact that there's screw, you can put in any kind of bulb. And so it doesn't have to be. I actually have a couple of the bulbs because I wanted to look at them. They're just normal LEDs, but they're super bright LEDs. You could put in any kind of bulb. So that, that it, you know, we can the town on the town side, we can we can talk about that because they've been sitting out there for two years now. And I'm sure that we'd love to be able to give you those to be able to help you with this project. Yeah, if I, you wanted yeah, them. I'd, I'd be interested in those. OK. Yeah, because the, the, the ones that are in now, the, the new lights are different. I think they have a higher kind of intensity bulb. They're not they haven't been retrofitted because they're new fixtures, but right. they are they are technically the same as the old ones that are sitting there. So, you know, I think you could go through and have your pick of the 14 lights that are sitting there, pick, a, you know, a good three that might work, uh, and oh. then you have your lights, which might be kind of nice. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. He's also on sled work. <laughs> um, anybody, ask any, uh, anybody ask any questions? Uh, may I? Only thing I got a little um, confused about was actually what he was talking about for the fencing, a galvanized conduit, maybe? Or Basic, you don't know? Basically for the rail. The rail. I mean, uh, you know, there's, there's posts and there's a lot of new, there's some cable systems. Uh, but they, I was looking at that and I, we were uh, out west in, in a coffee shop and they used, uh, I think it's the EMT, the light thin wall conduit. And they uh, made, uh, did railings. They had like five on a <clears throat> pulse or something like that. And it looked real nice. Did the cable through them? No, just, mm -hmm. uh, just, the, just conduit. the conduit. Yeah, between, between their posts. Yeah. And these will be um, 
Yeah, oh, I had, had different thoughts. If I do that, there might be added posts in between, you know. For so sure. if it's nine feet, so that might be, uh, you know, four and a half. Um, okay. That doesn't, that and. Yeah, I think if you go with the cable rail, they usually say, you know, Three and a half. Right. So, yeah. so Pat, it was like this, this one here that's showing right here. Uh, whoops, I just clicked. Yeah. Something like this is what you were talking about. That's a conduit. Yeah, something like that. And I would, so I, I was interested in something like that. You just, uh, can you guys see the, and that was just the background? background? No, but just, just, the, just the drawing. Switch shares, just so you can see what we're talking about. So this upper picture right here is what he's talking about. Instead of doing the cable, which is sort of the new thing that everyone like is doing, but instead using a conduit, so it gives it a little beefier feel. Okay. Would you would you leave it as the conduit color, or would you paint it? I would. It's galvanized. I would leave it ga galvanized. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And you describe the posts again. You said they wouldn't be the pressure treated. They were going to be some other material. No, no problem. Well, I, I'm not sure. I'm, I got a price. I was thinking of using a, a just a steel uh, square post as a possibility, or else I'll use a fur. Okay. But I'm not sure. Uh, I was thinking steel, but I think the price has gotten a little out of hand on that. Okay, I have a couple more questions. But Chris, did you see that? I just forwarded you Ben's comments. Uh, not yet. I, I it was a forwarded email. He didn't CC everyone, so I, and I just realized that just before the meeting. So if you check your email, you should see he had a couple questions. One of them's been answered in terms of lighting, but he had a couple more that were specific uh, that we haven't talked about yet. Deck is designed by a structural engineer. I don't, I mean, that's up to Pat. So his first question is whether you, it requires a structural engineer. Um, that's really between the contractor and um, the state of Vermont uh, being a commercial building. Division of Fire and Safety will deal with whether it's designed correctly. And Pat being a contractor who's worked, yeah. he's done this a few times. Um, I'll be happy enough. And I think number two, to the light question is answered it, and then eight by three set back on the sidewalk um oh the question was what would the sidewalk be constructed of would you thought possible well, pavers i i it might be pavers i might i'm not sure if i was a four i'd like to find some stone i have some stone but i think for access it might it could be a, a poured Concrete. I, I guess it's sort of, you know, regular poured sidewalk, possibly. Just depends. Uh, it would probably be better for the wheelchair, you know, having handicap accessible right there. Which will be the other bonus by doing this. He actually will bring this, uh, the, the bar uh, portion of that building up to um, ADA compliance. It's from, currently, it's not ADA, it's not required to be. Right. So that's sort of a well, well this my this uh, deck. But it will be yeah at that point. Right. right. This will trigger this. Anyways, uh, yeah. 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 I've been through them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess my main thing, so I, I'm in full support of the deck. I think this is a great idea and a great project, and I think it will will greatly benefit uh, the business as well. My main uh, concern is that we don't have, for me, there aren't enough specifics of how it's going to look. Generally, for the Design Review Commission, we're, we're um, evaluating and, and approving or recommending on specifics. And because you haven't locked in the exact materials that you're using and the exact look, it's hard for me to imagine the deck as a final thing. And, and I have concerns that 
something that I imagine or another person might imagine is going to be different. And then when we see the final thing, perhaps it's different than we all thought it would be. So that's my main concern. I'm, I'm more than happy to support it, but I, at the moment, I'm hesitant to just because we don't know the, the specifics of what the lighting might look like, the galvanized and the metal. You, you talk like you, and I'm, you know, I, and I don't mean to be rude, but it's just, we, I need to have more detail about like, here's what I'm going to use. This is what it's going to look like. And I'm definitely going to use this as opposed to I'm thinking about using this or I might no, use I, I can I can pick that right now. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and, and, I, and we often too, we often guide people as well because people, you know, they all come in the, in the same kind of way in terms of like wondering what materials can be used and sort of hesitant to commit just because what are our stipulations or what would my, our recommendations be? And I don't know, Ron, is that is that something that we should help Pat with now in terms of him making a decision like I don't think we haven't we we don't meet very often so it's sort of you know we have to sort of refresh our minds but Ron what are your what would your guidance be in terms of helping Pat here with with some of those specifics you make a valid point we do approve project as as presented and there's enough unknowns because you didn't know well it might be a wooden post versus I can what what I I hate to put you on the spot and say yeah. This is what I'm doing tonight. What you might want to do is consider just what Ian was saying and come back to us, uh, unless you plan on uh, pouring concrete tomorrow, <laughs> but come back to us with those uh, unknowns fine tuned because you're not even sure if you're going to use the lights that he has offered. Wow. Chances are it would. But uh, right. what you might want to do, is, I think, instead of making a commitment here in public, is take a look at what you want to do, what you're trying to accomplish with your debt, and then come back with all the materials that it's going to be. We know it's going to be a pressure-treated debt, but there's some unknowns of the, the railing material coming up, the lights. Uh, I think the entrance way is, that's been fine-tuned, but can you commit right now? Do you want to commit right now, or would you rather come back to us? Well, I don't now can... Okay, so you're not going to approve it without knowing exactly and how long would it take from now to if I came back. Well, say we, I came back tomorrow. and just uh, We could pull a meeting together in a couple weeks, maybe. Yeah, about two weeks. So the other option he has is, is to make a commitment now to that it's going to be a con, it's going to be a conduit um, style <laughs> railing and using the, the town light, a, a, a matching style to the town light. And wood or metal posts, those are the three biggies. Yeah. If he deviates from that or wants to change that, then come, come in for an amendment. That would be that my sounds good. recommendation. And, 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 I'm, and I'm definitely. Does that make uh, sense? Yeah. We, and Kristen. I'm asking Ron. Kristen, Kristen checked. She liked the conduit also. We saw it down there. And, uh, and um, the wooden post is probably most likely, and it'll probably be a fur that's exposed the stuff below will be a pressure treated and the deck will be a pressure treated unless yeah and the, and the, and if you look at the um the deck will be running toward the building and uh i think did i show details of the framing on that it's roughly yeah yeah that's not worried on that one it didn't do the whole thing but so does does that make sense, Ian? If, if he wants to go that route and commit to those options to you, and and if they deviate from that, then we uh, he would yeah. No, I would in really be interested in the town lights, or if they weren't available, it would be something very similar to that. So. Yeah, I, I think that's yeah. fine. You know, we 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 do have our our criteria in in the the town uh, or the zoning regulations that we need to go through and Ron you've often gone through sort of line by line and I think it might be useful because it does does hit a number of these different things I, I guess the one issue like picturing the the metal I, I need a cut color of the metal posts and then the galvanized for me your front railings are are painted black they're metal they're, they're galvanized or not galvanized but they're metal pipes kind of kind of like conduit but probably you know thicker they're painted black, and then we've got the contrast of that that you are that's already established with uh, a galvanized silver look for the rest of the deck, which doesn't match the rest of the building. And oftentimes we're trying to sort of match architectural features so there is sort of a, a uniformity to the building. 
Um, not that you can't stray from those things, but I think no. we need to sort of look at maybe look at our the building design part and going through sort of one by one just to make sure we hit everything. <clears throat> so the galvanized pipe is not something you'd uh, you're really interested in. Is that what you're thinking, or he's saying it's it's not in contrast know. with your uh, vertical porch you have on the front porch. That's what you're saying, oh. right, Ian? Yes, it's it's not that I'm not interested in it. It's and it's not my decision. It's your decision on it, and it's us. It's our our purview to sort of review and give our recommendations. Um, you know, we, we just kind of look at sort of uniform you know, like deformity the black in the front. Neither do I. Right. So so if you are if you wanted to sort of get a cohesive look, maybe it's something where you would use the black a black post and with the galvanized, or if it's just a silver post. And maybe that translates and changes the something in the front, one, but it wouldn't be silver. It's it's the and the post could be black. And I and I wasn't you know I hadn't really picked any color on that whether it's stained or or it could be painted black. But originally, I I actually wanted the wrought iron, oh, okay. but Kristen did not. <laughs> I'm gonna so it, black posts are on your front porch. I can do black on these. In there. Yeah, then, I have no problem with that. Then uh, the other issue is what, what would you want to uh, your um, cable or what was the, ga the galvanized rails? Yeah. So the, the big question is you aren't a big fan of the black in front currently, correct? So you just said it. it's there. I, I, think, I think it would because it's not black above it. So it'd be the same color. And ideally, these are just pressure treated posts. And they're not, you know, the ones above it are detailed with the, the bevel. So I'd like, a, I want to change them at some point. To, anyway. to almost match the deck. And you, would, you or, or, to match, or to match the building itself here. And so it could be any color. And if, if these are changed, say, for instance, down the road, this is changed colors and those are changed the same color, it would be fine, right? If long as you're like, right, yeah, even changing the color, you're changing something on the exterior so that we have to look at it. Yeah, even paint. It's colors. an inconvenience, but it's even paint colors. Yeah, yeah. So is that a lot? Is that a paint, quick, actually paint color is, is excluded I mean, unless we're, we're dealing with this one? Like, if you want to change the color of your building, you can change the color of your building. You can paint whatever you want. But when we're getting into the material types. If you specify that it needs to be black, if they want, if you want a deviation from that, then okay. they have to come to you. Does okay. that make sense? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Change the building color. Similar. I don't know why. <laughs> or at least add something to it. To trim. So the, the trim stuff you would need to come in, and when we have that laid out. Yeah, because there's because. Put the trim on the wells for <laughs> detail. Uh, changed his uh, upright vertical post on the deck to black. Okay. And uh, what are you going to do for your uh, cross pieces? The, the, the cross pieces. Those those are now they're galvanized uh, conduit. Now is that. And that's a contrast, uh, Ian. Is do you have any galvanized color on the front of the spill? No, there's black iron. Those, I guess, those could be could be black iron too if it made the difference. Yeah, it's like a combination. You've got your your uh, vertical post corner posts are painted black along with your gutter, um, and then your building itself, the the front of it is white, or it's like a like an off white color. I mean, your in your seating area is black. It's black wrought iron kind of seating, um, and you've got the stone there, which is like another kind of gray color. It's kind of mixed. I mean, it's tough because we're trying to. I'd love to see more more cohesion with the building, but it's it's difficult because you're you're doing it the different pieces. And I'd hate I hate to like have you go one direction and then you come back to us and say we want to do this, and then it runs into sort of frustrations well, with I'm, that. I'm I'm I'm. Uh... I wouldn't uh, change this. 
the deck itself from what we agree upon. Right. But do this either, you know, this so it could match the trim or the, you know, the trim detail, which could be a lot of the building and all that. Is it, this this needs to be recited anyways. On no. The <laughs> Yeah, yes. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I'm all for like improving this building. Like, you know, it's great. And you're, and you're doing a great job so far. And I know you're a new owner of the building. So I'm, I'm in full support. It's just like, for me, I need, I need, I need to have like decisions being made, I think, before you come to us. It's like, we can help you as much as possible. But I think I'm yeah. still has, I'm still hesitant to sort of agree on things, oh, yeah, knowing, so knowing that you could potentially look at stuff, look at the price of conduit and say like, oh my gosh, it's really expensive. I think I'd like to go another direction. And then you need to come back to us anyway. I think it'd be better to sort of, to sort of ha as Ron suggested earlier, sort of go through these specifics and, and answer the questions that we've asked you tonight and sort of make those decisions with Kristen um, and come back to us and say, okay, here's what we got. This is what we're locked into. We're committed to these. And then you probably would have approval um, very easily. I think right now I'm, I'm still hesitant because there are so many unknowns in, in your situation um, that I, I'd be hesitant to support it even in terms of officially, even though I support the project um, overall. I think we'll support it. And I think he's making a, a valid point there. And just we to give the particular We're putting um, you on the spot right here. And yeah. we, maybe you need to have a conversation with Kristen before you commit to some of this other stuff. <laughs> You've heard the comment, comments and uh, yeah. Liz has got Liz some, some too. I'm just gonna um, add Ian to your comment that, you know, just looking at the rail design, for example, depending on which system you go with, it, it could, it'll it look quite different, right? You know, um, if this is a 36 foot long stretch and you go with the conduit, you might have eight or nine bays, you know, rather than four. Yeah, well, and even more if you go with the cable. And then the other part that is not totally clear here is where your height is. You know, if, it's, if there's a drop off, it, it's going to end up being 42 inches to the top, but not 36, you know, et cetera. So it'd just be good to get a little bit better idea. Yeah, the, of the detail. Is. Yeah, so so you want the, the height detail it has to be uh, ha because it's a drop off. It has to meet that, that uh, 40 height, right? Yeah. Which is, I already know that. Okay. I, ju I just didn't put that in. Uh, and there is a drop off as you go down through. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think it'd just be good to just get a little bit. Even if you said, okay, I'm going to do the this kind of rail, and I know I'm going to space it this much. That would help us to visually yeah. understand. Yeah. Well, I uh, this is not in the detail here, but. Uh, with that cable or with that conduit, I think you, it definitely has to have the the added support between each one of them, and that's not in the picture. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, what do you so, think you want to do? What go I, home and have a talk with Christian and come back? I'd like to pick it, but I'll, you know, yeah. but and, and I'm, 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 I'm here Friday, Monday, and and but. You know, yeah, yeah. So I'll just and I'll get you as soon as you get in. Then I'll send out a couple sure. days. These guys, I'm gonna get you an ASAP. Sure, we're on top and putting you out for two months. Yeah, so, uh, we'll get this result. All right. So I'll just so but, so we just need so you want the detail of the railing mainly the lights. Uh, so now take this time to go to the uh, uh, public works area and yeah. look at the lights that are over there. Yeah, who do just see. This Eric, Eric, over there. The McCall, yeah. And yeah. you know, if, if well, like Chris was just pulling up some images online, if you have an image of a rail system that you like and detail, well, that, you like, it was very similar to what know, he was just showing. Yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> yeah. that would be super handy. So yeah, so if, in, too, if you want to come back, if, once you have the drawings done, if yeah. I mean, I can sit down, we can plan. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm more just it. sketch. I know, that's what I'm, I'm glad to help you with that part. That's what I'm offering it up. With what he brought up, is a picture you, you capture that picture and put in your packet yeah that's what you're okay. yeah it's not anything you've sketched out now we know exactly how yeah. you want the finished product to look yeah like. and, and we can search for more of them to get exactly what the feel you're looking for yeah. so like i said come into the office sure either friday or monday and, and yeah you're not gonna knock that out in a hurry all right and, so you're and in pat 
Pat, I'm happy to meet, if you want to connect, I'm happy to meet at the location and also show you the lights as well. Um, if you want to look through those, um, just on the, since I'm on the select board um, side, I can, I can sort of, we can go look at those and see what the condition, they, they've been under kind of tarp, so they should be okay. Um, but let's take a look at those and then, then that'll give you a decision like, yeah, I think I'm going to go with these or no, I don't like the look. I'm going to try something else. No, I, I, yeah, I've seen the lights. I was actually <laughs> seen them quite a bit. Okay. I, you know, well, but I, yes. I'll, yeah. I'll give you, a, I think your number's on the application. Let me give you a call and we can connect at some point this week and then just take a look right. at those. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, great. Thanks, Pat. Uh, All right. One more thing. Yeah. Yes, Lionel. Hey is that we kind of let those steps slide he was going from maybe concrete to maybe so you want you want to pit you want a, a definite oh. on the steps yeah so okay need that clarified yeah well for probably the poured would be well i guess they're not steps right no so they're, they're just they're actually, they're actually they're just uh right. it's just uh we yeah. the building is not a Plan. So, the, so a chance to bring it up. Yeah, so that'll be just. Yeah. Oh. And again, we can. And, and then, and fire as wheelchair, the sidewalk, a port sidewalk will be better. Yeah. Or a ramp, wooden ramp. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. And the other piece, so the other half, he did have the last drawing on here, it was also a discussion on adding two doors to the rear of the building. Yeah. Um, if you look at the very last drawing, the upstairs, third story, right? Third story. Yeah. Um, so that gives uh, those, those, so that gives those two back apartments. Pull that up. Uh, access to the back deck instead of, so it gives it actually gives another exit other than the building into the building, I mean, into the hall. Not that it's a whole lot of difference. But do they do these two doors replace windows or your uh, one one's gonna be a new opening and the other one's gonna replace the window. The one off over the over the bar or side will replace the window. What are these doors gonna look like? They're the 15 light doors, you know. Um are the finish on the doors gonna be similar to other doors in your building? Uh, on the exterior. Well, it's a little bit of everything on the building, I think. But <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a steel door on the back of the hatch block. And uh, the other, I'm trying to think of the other doors are probably uh, six panel, but most of them are metal doors. This is going to be a metal door with the glass. Uh, so it's going to be glass center and, you know, have and, lights. And, and again, when we need, we can look and that's samples for these guys on this as well. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. So I, I actually have one of the doors already. I'm just oh perfect. Took a picture of it. And um and uh I think that's and I was uncertain on the door, but I think that's probably the same type of door I'll do on the bar. I don't think Come we up. have any problem to put doors in because it's uh another uh skate right. fire in there. Right. right. But it's a matter of what's it gonna look like. Right. Show. Right. Exterior. Yeah. So, so Pat, at the moment, that third floor, um, the apartment, uh, they they would leave, they would go to a door in the hallway, and the hallway is the single exit onto the deck. And these two are just proposing doorways from each apartment onto the back deck. Yeah, the and one one is a window, and one is no. Okay, good. I just wanted to make that clear. Yeah, again, another looking at the the style of door. You know, my recommendation would be if you can get each of those doors to match, that would be nice as opposed to it, just to make it sort of. No, uh, no, they'll match. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm trying to. Yeah, I like uh, <clears throat> as much the old look as possible. Yeah. Uh, All right, then. Yeah. And then, so on the, on the second floor, are there doors already uh, installed that yeah. do the same thing that the third floor, that what you want to do on the third floor? They are, but they're different. They're okay. Different okay. Now, is it? Are you? Are you going to do your locations the same? So if you looked at it, it would be symmetrical. I know what you're saying if it's symmetrical, I. Uh, the on the third floor, there's an existing window, so I'm going to use that. Okay. On the apartment over the bar. The this other one, the way I even did it, is a step in the living room and uh, the 
porch ends right there and there's a window there which i gotta i'd like to get rid of that at some point but i'll have to talk to you about that i want to put a window that's further out that's over the windows below so it looks better okay uh, and but then now it's got a one of the crank the crank open one of the awning window type or them crank open ones yeah uh it's not a double uh but uh the door is going to be so it enters on the deck and there's nothing there now the window that's just off from it i like eventually will go away and i'll put a double hung further out a larger window uh, but those do not those two doors will not match the ones below yeah at some point will i'll change those out so they match so right so it's it's one of those catch 22s for the for the landowner and the, the building owner is having enough capital to do it all in one shot versus coming up with a concept and this is phase one and we're, we're waiting to see phases two and three which is yeah. what we're all waiting for i mean in, in all honesty I'm, I'm excited to see upgrades to this building this is a yeah. building that's needed some tlc for a while and the fact that pat's stepping up is, is personally is is awesome yep i i agree uh, actually, your shoulders are right there. So that's uh, that replaces the window, the one on this side, this right and that's the new opening. And that door, that uh, existing, is I want to put a double hung further out that's over the window below it. Okay, start back up to the other windows. Yeah, look better. Cool. Yeah. So right. on the doors, just bring get a sample shot of that one so we yeah. have that so they yeah. can see yeah. what it is and you can go from there. Sure. I, I gotta apologize for a shortcoming. I know I, I rarely made mistakes, but that's my wife. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm Ron LaRose. I know. Sure. Okay. This is Liz Herman. Herman. Okay. Nice to meet you. He's just a guest. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here you've got uh, Ian, who has been chatting. Yeah. And uh, one you don't see is Slim Pickens. Slim Pickens. <laughs> I got, I got the, the, the sound to work. That was good. <laughs> yes. Well done, Slim. <laughs> Cool. All right then. You, so your next step is getting together with some meeting, meeting with Chris. Then oh, get together. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> and, yeah. and Chris, I would recommend um, if you can uh, print out the section if Pat doesn't already have it, just from the the zoning regs of the design review area, and then he can see the criteria that we're going to be looking at, and that might help him. Unless you actually, might have already given it to him. I, I haven't yet, but I actually have a checklist that yeah, I can get that to him. Okay. Because it's always useful. I mean, that, it, it's what we follow and what we're going to be looking at. So as long as you're going down and saying, "Okay, scale, I've got that, I've got this," then you should be set coming in. We'll just we'll just knock through it. Okay. Cool. So I'll good. get that for you. All right. Great. Right. Thanks, Pat. Yeah. Thank you, Pat. Thanks, and Pat. Pat, I'll give you a call. Yeah. We'll yeah. see you in a couple of weeks. Well, actually, I'll, I'll see you in a couple of days. Yeah, and I'll see him in a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, I'll yes. give you a call this week. All right. Excellent. Thanks, Pat. Uh, Thank you, Pat. All right. Yeah. Nice. Okay, the next one is uh, 22 019. Uh, St. Ambrose is closing existing doors, removing existing sidewalk, and putting in a new access uh, going from the east face to the north face and a new sidewalk to access it. Correct. How's that quick summary? Now you take it from there. You you got it. Marcel, oh. <laughs> Marcel Kimball. <laughs> Marcel, this is probably the best starting picture, don't you think? For... It is. That's actually the one I'm looking at here in front of me out of my files. What this all stems from is a safety issue. Um, in the corner where the handicap sign is, is where two roofs come together. And in the wintertime, the snow slides off the roof onto the sidewalk. And as hard as I try to keep that sidewalk clear of snow and ice, um, it's a never ending process in the winter. Um, this is a project that we at the church, our buildings and grounds committee um, have been talking about and trying to figure out the best way to deal with it for several years um, in the design that we have submitted uh, for the, with the application is what we have come up with. Um, what our plan is, 
is to leave the existing door, but we're going to remove the outside door handle so that it's only uh, an emergency exit. From so the, the door stay there. The door is going to stay there. Okay. Um, the biggest reason is cost. Um, to do the, the masonry work, the brick work, and whatnot. Um, but the sidewalk leading up to it will be removed, and there will be fresh sod, you know, grass put in there. Uh, that handrail will be removed. Um, likely, we're going to try to use the existing handrail, but move it over to the new sidewalk, uh, which is where the between the two sets of green flags going up through there. But if we have to get a new railing, it will be the same design. It will look the same. Um, the only reason we may need a new one is rust at the bottom where it goes into the cement sidewalk. Um, if we can save it, or if our contractor can save it, we are going to do that. If not, we'll get a new one, but it will look the same as, as what you're seeing in that picture. Um, the bottle redemption box, um, our plan is just to slide that to the west so that where the new door will, will be, um, it won't be, won't interfere with that. Yes, it will be slid further towards um, that window. It's almost on the other side of the window. Right, exactly, yeah, yeah. And, and the new door that we're proposing is gonna go between that window and the corner of the building. It'll be in between there. Now, the roof line there, is that sloping to the north? Hey, hey, that, Chris, are, do you have a double screen? Because I can't see. I shared a picture, but I don't think you're sharing what, what you guys are looking at. Oh, no, crap. I didn't hit share. My bad. I'm sorry, Ian. <laughs> I mean, I, I know it, but I just want to make sure. Thank you for mentioning it. It's that, this is the picture we're looking at right now. Okay, good. All right. I was looking at another picture, too, which I have. Okay. So, yeah, you'll, you'll slide that past the window? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah that'll end up over here on yes. this okay. side. To, to answer Ron's question, that roof slides towards the existing sidewalk. East. Slide east-west. And so with the new door, we're going to, we're hoping, proposing, depending on your guys' approval or disapproval, um, put a roof structure over the new door that will extend six feet out, straight out. Uh, at an angle so you know, the snow would slide off. Okay. Um, but it'll extend out six feet from the building and be six feet wide to cover the door. Yep. That's it. And so you're you're planning on replacing the, uh, essentially the egress from this door uh, with this new door. So the width is going to be the same and you're not going to maintain the loft in the winter time out of that main what what the main door is right now the, so you're the, yes that the door outside. there the, the door that you're seeing in this picture um will not be maintained in the winter time the existing sidewalk will be removed and it will we'll put some new sod in and grass it in so it'll be a lawn area um but in the winter time that will not be maintained but you can still use it for egress. It, you could use it for an emergency egress as the door opens out And, and like I said, the reason we're going to leave that door, the biggest reason was cost um, to, to get a mason in to match the brickwork of the, the existing building. Um, you know, our, our thought was just to eliminate that cost, leave the, the existing door um, and just remove the exterior door handle. Slim, you have questions, comments? Um, I think it's a great project. Um, my, I guess I have a concern about the roof design since we, we don't have a drawing of that. It seems to me that you would, that you're not going to be matching the, the pitch of the roof that's there, mimicking like a smaller version of that over the door. Um, and you're going to be coming sort of just angling straight out and angling down, which I feel is, I don't know how that's going to match and look with the rest of the building, but it, 
I don't, you know, if you match the pitch with the with the two angles coming out over the door, you create the same problem that snow could just drop off that right onto where you're walking in anyway, kind of like it does now. But it right. seems like that that would be the cleanest look and the best look to be able to match the building itself instead of doing the opposite design. So I have I have a concern about that. And I, since we don't have any drawings, I'd want to see a drawing of that to see what that would look like and whether you were going to use standing seam, whether you were going to use the same kind of design elements around the edge of the roof. The roofing material is going to be standing seam to match the existing roof on the building. Okay. Yeah, so I, I see your concern, Amy. You, you wanted this roof area right here to possibly be a peak, but then when it dumps snow load onto the sidewalk, we we're, we're just moving the problem. Yeah, just moving the problem ten feet to the to the set, uh, to the north. Right. And that's what okay. we're trying to alleviate is is a safety concern. There's one picture that he has in the packet that shows above that uh, proposed new doorway. It's a straight face going up or how far, I'm not sure, but it goes a straight face going up to the ridge, which runs north and south of, in this area, the, the roof ridge, ridge line. And almost like you really don't even need the overhang on the- Is this the, the picture? Huh? No. No, I think that's yeah, the other one. There's another one that's- uh, This one. Yeah. No. Uh, that is yeah. But you see the, the vertical wall above that uh, bottle redemption building. Right. So that's telling me the ridge line, uh, the main ridge line of the roof goes north and south. And you've got overhang uh, on the roof beyond the wall of the building. And uh, do you need a roof there? Our, our concern, our thought with the roof there was um, more or less for if it's raining when somebody's coming in or out, they would have a chance to stop there and fold up their umbrella before they went in or when they come out to stop and open their umbrella. Um, Maybe uh, it'd be difficult to match. Well, no, I guess you could match your ridge line and the uh, stand and seam by uh, if it's running north and south coming out of there. But again, if you do that, you're going to dump it down in the in exact same spot. Down. Yeah. Or but it, that's a much smaller surface. problem. And now, what's that, John? I was just saying it, but it would be a much smaller problem. You'd have a relatively small roof as opposed to the uh, valley of two large, much larger roofs funneling all that snow down onto the existing sidewalk. Whereas what is it, a six foot by maybe three foot grand total of roof that would be shedding some snow. So it would be a problem, I guess, but the shoveling would be easy. Er, and I do think you want something for the rain. I mean, of course. Anyway, yep. You can also put some snow guards on there to keep people from getting Dumped on. You know, we, we could certainly, we're, we're certainly open to putting a gable yeah. roof up there versus one that comes out, you know, straight out or whatever. So like I said, it will slim it a valid point there. You're, you're not dumping the main roof in this area as you were with existing entranceway. That is true. And right. it's a minimal impact you know, on the pedestrian traffic there. And there are, there are ice ice protectors that can be applied to the standing seam roof that will keep any major slides from ever happening, I believe. Okay. Other comments? If that's the only issue that your committee has, that's an easy enough fix. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already have in your plans to put a roof over anyways. Right. Um, yeah, I think if, if you're if you're open to the gable, I think that would be that seems like a better design to that would fit with the building and not clash against what's already there and, and the rest of the of the building. Um, we, we'd want to 
I think I'd want to see in terms of if it's just a gable peak, if you're if you're constructing anything in terms of a full triang triangle look of it, or if it's just the roof itself and it's open, um, and what what your supports might be in there, um, and then what your what your edging might look like. It's again, it's like because of this this commission sort of works on specifics. It's it's hard for me to picture, and I'm I'm a you know, I've built stuff and my dad's a designer and so I can, I can, I have the ability to do that, but even now it's sort of hard for me to sort of picture it. And I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't want to picture something and have it be something completely different and thinking that I've approved this or been one of, one of someone, you know, group who's, who've approved this. Um, and we move forward uh, to prove as long as they provide another drawing to uh, give us more detail on this roof. So we keep this move, this project moving. But we um, have a I guess that would be a question for Chris. I've got a contractor lined up to start in three weeks. Three weeks? You ought to be able to, in three weeks, get us a sketch. And we'll you know, you work with Chris. Mm -hmm. and you get it. If he gets to him, then he can send it around to us. If we're all content with it, we can rubber stamp it then. Now, if everything, if everybody else is okay with everything else, we can approve that contingent on receiving a sketch of the roof. That work for you guys? Yeah. I just have the support too. The, yeah. the, the support and then well, there's some How are you going to support it? Uh, there's, as far as I know, from talking with our contractor, he's going to support it off the building itself. There's not going to be any posts out away from the building. It's going to be supported. Show that in your sketch when you bring that back. Okay. I mean, I, I assume your contractor's going to have to draw that up anyway. So when he does that, you get his job. Perfect. Yep. It's, is the walkway needed? You know, the sidewalk is so close to the building. Do you need the second walk? It's longer. Yes. It'd be muddy. So they're removing one sidewalk and building another sidewalk. Door. Yeah, I'm just seeing though that the, there's a street, there's a sidewalk that's on. No, this, yeah, this is all grass through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It looks like there's a sidewalk right here. Well, that's what I think of. That's, I realized, you know, that, that's not a sidewalk. Yeah. That's a path out to the that's other side. Right. In, in the wintertime, I keep a, a path snow blown out through there because our fuel oil tank yeah. is out there, fuel oil fills out there. So I keep the path cleared for our uh, fuel dealer yeah. to, yeah. Uh, so they don't have to trudge through three feet of snow. Um, ben had some other questions, Chris, looking at his email now. We've answered, we've actually answered most of them. One that we have, and he said, the estimate makes reference to backfill and seating in the area of the demolished sidewalk. What type of seating will be used? It, it, it'll be grass. It's okay. Just, just matching in with what's there. Exactly, yes. Okay. Um, oh, and in question three he had, are, are there any below grade utilities in the vicinity of the demolished sidewalk? I guess just a just a warning for you, and I'm sure you're gonna check anyway before you start digging into the earth. Right, I don't believe there is, but I'm sure that- uh, Dig safe will be yep. safe. Yep. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, can I have one comment here? Yes. Uh, now I see where your flags are for the sidewalk, but would it be possible to move the sidewalk outside the zone of the snow slipping off your proposed roof? Mm. If the sidewalk was where you have people walking to fill the fuel tank, then it would just be oh, normal snow, so, like any other place. And then they could turn uh, left and go in underneath the portico. I see what you're saying. So, yeah. so move this sidewalk here and have it run and then they would just walk in move it out another i mean yeah. i mean we're six feet but move the side another okay. say five because you have plenty of land you're not going to run yeah. into your, your yeah. property back there's no and i don't know how wide you need that sidewalk but you make it as wide as you need but have it turn into the portico yeah which might be five feet or four feet or something whatever you could live with right absolutely that's a good idea that gives you room too if you need brackets underneath there to support it you're not going to bump into it as yep. you approach it from that side yeah i mean that that fuel filling is just grass now 
But Correct. so so you'd want to look at. I think I think Slim's suggestion is a really good one. It's it's probably going to add in terms of a little bit to your budget, or maybe not, because you're you're going to be doing some additional sidewalk or concrete area right at the door's entrance because you're shifting it. Um, right. You know, because you're sort of creating an L. But it does. I think that does make sense to me in terms of like you're getting away as far as, as you can or as far as like you want to away from that roof and the potential of anything falling off of it. Um, and then, but obviously you'd have to have it. So it, it seems like it was a nice way to be able to, you know, go forward and then, and then left through the door. So, and maybe it's, maybe it's only bumps out another like two or three feet from that, from that North side wall, uh, to be able to clear, clear the roof. Yep. Absolutely. We can do that, but you still don't have to pour additional concrete. You're just moving the width. Uh, you're right. you're going to pour one more little piece yep. yeah. where the building is under where, yep. where you enter. Yeah. Yep. So not a huge piece. Yep. By means. Yep. Not by any means. No, uh, we're, we're certainly open to that. Absolutely. Do we want to approve what's been presented condition on the receipt of a sketch of the roofing plan and support system? Yeah, yeah I'd be fine with that. And we just, we, we would just want to have as detailed as possible so if if your contractor if they're able to work from photographs of the building and try to get it as as ac accurate as possible in terms of the height of the roof and where it's going to attach and things like that 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 would be work for work for us better i think okay. was that your motion uh that was my motion <laughs> i'll second that <laughs> yeah so I'll, ma I'll make the motion to approve the application uh on uh for the this ad addition of the sidewalk and change, uh, but only on receipt of uh, uh, design for the roof. Who includes or support. to include? Yeah, however, however you want to. Sorry, however you want to word that, um, Chairman. <laughs> yeah, Chris has got it. Or Chris has got Any, it. Yeah. All right. The motion made. And second. Any further second. discussion? Second. Okay. Slim second. Any further discussion? Uh, I, I, sorry, just one more thing in terms of the use. Do we, snow guards aren't in our purview, right? So it would be their decision to put a snow guards on that new roof and not ours. Correct. Okay. And and by shifting it, it should eliminate even the need for them. I was gonna say, by shifting the sidewalk, yeah, you wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't yeah. see the need for it. Absolutely. I mean, the cost of the snow guards may actually have your concrete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Right, right. Because you're, yeah, you, you're not even entering on the, uh, the east side. You're going, you're actually going to enter straight, straight forward. Oh, okay. Right. That's, yeah. And then, and then you're, that's nice because you're able to keep that, that gabled roof look matching the existing building. Okay. Uh, thanks. Any other comments? Um, none. Nothing for me. Thank you. Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Both? Eric. Oh, so you and Chris need to chat. Yeah. We'll uh, get a hold of our contractor tomorrow and tell him what we need as far as drawings or whatever. And if, if, you, if either him or you have questions on exactly what it is, um, and reach out. Scan it and send it around to us. Absolutely. I'll take a look. Sounds good. Hopefully I can get it uh, by the end of this week and I'll get in touch with you on Friday. Sounds great. Perfect. And if not, great. I'm here Monday. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, folks. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, everyone there. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. Okay. Bye.